welcome to uh, welcome to chapter four. We are mostly moved in and ready to go, operational, if you will say. And I've never had more caffeine in my life. Having a coffee shop downstairs is fantastic. I think it's too good. I go there three times a day, at least. In the morning, just before lunch, and then just after lunch. And uh, I'm even bringing the for here glasses up to my office. That's when you know I feel at home. <laughs> it's so dangerous. Ooh. Look at this, I even have like a full white setup here if I wanted just like a white wall. You know, it's funny, I actually might enjoy this space more. I don't know if that's the honeymoon phase. I don't know if it's because it's I just got here and it's exciting, maybe a bit of A, a bit of B, but I've got a lot of thoughts. In the last office, we both had separate rooms with glass doors and it was cool and it was fancy, but the way I've been trying to describe it to people is it felt a bit like um, a really fancy engineering firm or a marketing firm that was like renting it to a YouTuber. This is Main Street, it's a little more scrappy, it's a little more artsy, it feels a little more creative, it feels a little bit more like I belong here and I've already feel like I do. And we've moved our desks to this kind of common area so that we can just work together. Just one big desk. This is what you see when you walk in. Just this big, empty, white room. And I bought four of these desks from Ikea. They're about $119 a piece. So this whole massive table was about 400 bucks. Now, if you went to find a dining table that had any sort of style from Structube or West Elm or Article, you're looking at $1,300 to $1,800 at least, and it still won't be this big. So I'm 400 bucks in on the desks. Very stoked on that. I'm trying to keep everything budget friendly. I feel like after working in the other office for so long, I'm doing things a bit opposite. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep costs down and just, I, I feel like I know what I like now more than I ever used to. So that's where Kirk's sitting with the uh, Mac Studio. You got Captain Kirk right there. And we're both on G-Raids as far as our kind of drives that we work off of go. Uh, and then I'm running HS7s off the Apollo Twin. That's a Marquez Brownlee recommendation. Thanks, bud. And I grabbed this from my, my old standing desk from Fully, and uh, I'm using that power there, and that's just going under the table. And that brings us to our lighting source. I am just using a 300D Mark II. Got a couple of sandbags on the back, a couple of sandbags on the uh, C stand there, and that's with an aperture lantern, and that's what's giving us all of this light right now. You do get quite a bit from this skylight, but if I was to turn it off, you'll notice like <laughs> I've got a little bit of light, but then Kirk's got nothing. Brought the Red Bull fridge. That's self-explanatory. That's gotta be here. That was probably the biggest to bring up the stairs. Ugh. Brought our slippers and our mat. And then that brings you to the shooting area. This is our main angle sit down studio setup. We're using a 300X when we got the light dome too. We are using the C500 Mark II and I've got that audio boomed to a Sennheiser off of a Rode boom arm. And hanging off my Rode boom arm, I have a small HD monitor so I can check focus and things like that. And then down here, we always have a little table that attaches to this light stand. I love these and that's where we have extra batteries and just stuff that Kirk might need when he's sitting here uh, manning the camera, making sure everything's in focus. Off to the side, we have an acoustic panel, helps the audio, which is another reason we have a carpet below. Now, the background's pretty plain. I have a little tube light over there, which I'll show you in a second. The Dope Squad sign, which came from Main Street and is back on Main Street now, which just feels like it's home, and I feel good about that. But this background needs like a table, with some podcast mics and a light over it. Like it needs some life. Something needs to be happening so it doesn't just feel like a startup accounting firm. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, but that is my view when we are filming the main angle stuff. So it's clean, it's nice and tidy. Got a light stand here with a Manfrotto arm, grip head. All this stuff is very, very nicely kind of put together. Got that light nice and close so it's nice and soft. We have a little bit of a hair light up there that's just hitting the right side for a bit of rim, a bit of hair light, sandbags on everything so that you don't kick stuff over. And I'm sitting on a couple of apple boxes. That's the main angle. We we're actually testing a few of these shots out. All right, this is a test of the audio. This new setup, seeing how big and wide the frame is, how the light looks, how it sounds. I already said that, especially with the uh, air conditioner unit that is humming the f 
away on the roof. Just wait till the Spanish music starts pumping downstairs at the Mexican restaurant below. Uh... That's without any ND filters with the light on in the back, little YouTube-y. But if we were to drop an ND and power up the light, that, uh, yeah, maybe a bit bright, uh, a little bit more. Yep, that's, I don't know, that's, that's kind of cool. It's kind of dramatic. So we got the first look, the second look, and the third look, or the fourth look without the dope. Squad, it's a little more, a little more dramatic. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Much better. Welcome back to the main angle and to the video brought to you by Motion Array. It's my first little thing, you know, at the table here. Feels good. Feels right. Back on main, baby, let's go. So Motion Array is an unlimited video marketplace for all of your content creation needs. You need video overlays, graphics, sound effects, titles, stock music and video files. You need anything. They have an ungodly amount of assets, actually, to be quite honest with you. Over 700,000 premium quality templates, all in the hopes to make your video making experience better, more streamlined, and higher quality. And the best part is if you're using an editor like Premiere Pro, uh, they have a plugin for it. So you don't even have to go to the website. You can just use that plugin to control and grab everything that you need. So that for sure saves on time and makes things way easier. I gotta bring my left hand into this and just the one hand gestures is throwing me off. So Motion Array is membership based. Download whatever you want and use it whenever you want. No additional fees, you can use the assets whenever and wherever. Peace of mind. Now, if you wanna try it for free, you can do so. You won't get access to everything, but if you wanna see if it's something that you would use or that would benefit your business, uh, that's a great option. $29.99 for unlimited downloads. That's all plugins included. And you can get as many assets as you want for that one-time monthly fee or 249 for the year, and that gives you everything that you got with the monthly subscription, but for less money. And if you sign up with the link in the description below, that saves you an additional $50 off the yearly membership, which then gets you that even cheaper. So if this is something you're interested in and you're pumped on it and you wanna try it out, click the link in the description below, check out Motion Array, try it for your business, try it for your creative needs, your videos, your assets, whatever you are creating. Now all the titles in this video, we use Motion Array for super fast. Thanks again to Motion Ray for sponsoring this video and the main angle. Yeah, we're back on Main Street. This might be the coolest invention ever. Peter Andrew showed me this. This is built by these guys named Castor Design, and it's so cool. This little box is just a holder and it emits, it's like a specific field of energy, science. So it's just by proximity on what this box is emitting is what charges the gas inside the tube and it just looks super cool in the background so I am very stoked on that it's the little things all right in here I just got some storage right now I got a couple extra light domes little light dome minis some totes my lights I'll probably put my internet in here my server rack once that comes all temporary but lots of light shines through and it kind of looks cool in the background so that's interesting this is the new gear room uh, and there's not a whole lot to it. I'm trying to keep the gear to a minimum. I get sent a lot of products to review, to use, to try out, and the warehouse back in chapter three got very, very full, very, very fast. But what's been nice about moving here while still owning the old unit is that I can pick and choose what gear I wanna bring with me and it really gives me a good bird's eye view of what I've been using and what I don't use. That C70 I use a lot when we're doing podcasts and we need another angle. Ronin 4D I'm saving for a car to car sequence because I know that would work incredibly well extra bodies that I've collected over the years, lenses I'm obviously using all the time. I have three 15 to 35s, extra aperture lights, some tools, charging station, and another charging station down here on my grip cart, that kind of thing. And again, every single light in this office, I'm powering with an aperture light. I don't have a single light turned on because the light is awful, everything flickers, but with controlled high quality studio lights, like this stuff, everything is evenly lit, and I know no matter where I point the camera, it's gonna look good, and nothing is going to flicker. Again, look, like every angle I point this camera, it looks great. That's probably the best view we got right now for the next four months. <laughs>
that. I just love it. It's just so good. It's so good. And then the extra benefit is, like I've said, having a coffee shop downstairs. So if Kirk's not at his desk, I can pretty much be guaranteed he's probably working off his laptop downstairs in like a social environment that's just refreshing to do instead of sitting at your desk all day long. We should go see if he's there right now. You. I'm right here. How you doing? Right at the entrance, enjoying oh, like oh, oh, I, need, I need to refill. It's, it's, free coffee is bad. It's isn't amazing. It? Too good. Anyway, Kirk can come down and uh, escape, escape the office and just enjoy the, the earth. Yep. You can enjoy your life more. It's very nice to be able to work outside oh, it's and, amazing. and have a mix up. And how does it feel being back on Main Street? It's, there's life, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, I, I, I'm not isolated anymore, yeah. right? You don't realize how much you enjoyed it until you come back and experience it again and you're like, wow, yeah, this yeah. is great. Right there. That's the ticket. Right there. So that is a first look at the office as it's coming together. Hopefully you sell my unit super soon. And then after that, I'm just gonna litter this place with photos. I might have to bring some furniture up because I'm not sure what to do with it in the meantime while I'm waiting for chapter five to unfold, which I also gotta tell you about, but fully expect to be updated with the progress of said setup. And if you have any questions about how we've set things up for a main angle, be it that it's the negative fill or the hair lights or the audio or what equipment we're using specifically, leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to uh, share all of that information with you right down to where I got the bookshelves, Amazon. That's it for me guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed your little tour. Subscribe if you haven't already and, and I will see you in the next video. It's good to be back.